Hello YouTube, this is Ace. So we just bought a new house and I got a bit of a new shop that I'm putting together and uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Today we're going to build a lithium battery pack for some ice fishing equipment. I believe this equipment will pull over possibly continuously 2 amps so we're going to need a good size pack. This is going to be uh, 8 parallel 3 series 12 volt pack. Um, I have a BMS that real nice BMS that seems to work really well. I coat them in a liquid electrical tape in case they get wet the pack will continue to actually work even though there may be water water making contact with the cells. I've seen it happen and it doesn't really affect it too much so I guess let's uh, let's get started. This is the fish finder from Garmin. I don't know too much really about it. This isn't something I would be into so I really can't give you any information about the product but there's quite a few specs and stuff here. Uh, we'll give you a link in the description so you guys can take a look at it too. Uh, it's better than pulling a lead acid battery behind you all the way out on the lake so you can use it. That's the whole purpose of building this lithium battery. It'll only be a fraction of the weight. The price blows me away. Um, that's what I paid for my TIG welder. So that's some, that's some pricey equipment. So these are LG cells. They're 2200 milliamps and I rewrapped them. And we're going to be spot welding them today with my homemade spot welder, that guy right there. And this is just going to be a time lapse video. I'm not going to give a whole lot of information.
a big fan of my folds, but they look okay. I'll leave them a little loose in case they gotta move around. Okay, we got voltage. Got my battery pack finished and putting a charge on it right now and what I want to do here is I actually want to put it under load and this is a 10 watt 1 ohm ceramic resistor I'm going to do some thermal compound and a heat sink right there and we're going to pull some power out of it but I gotta make a couple things real quick and we'll get testing got 12 10 and without a heat sink and thermal paste and all that uh, this sucker will start to smoke because I think it pulls around 8 or 9 amps alright let's see what kind of power we're pulling here Seven point three. It's not as high as I thought. Let's try the other one. We got eight. Probably between seven and eight is what I would probably say. It's getting hot though. You can hear it. Okay, so we need more thermal paste. This thing just gets crazy hot. And for the record, these are brand new cells. These are not recovered laptop battery cells. These are these are brand new LGs. So they can handle this, no problem. It dries this thermal paste right out. <laughs> Let's do this again. Check our amps. Seven point two on the negative. It's probably eight on the other one. Pack's not warm. BMS is warming up a tiny bit, but not not even close to anything to be concerned about. Okay, this thing's getting hot, hot to the touch. I almost can't hold my hand on it. We're pulling, if you guys can see that, 7.2, 7.13. It's moving around there. I don't know how accurate that really is, but we're getting, we're at 128 on the thermal. So it's warm. Let's check our voltage.
There we go. 11.14. 7.3. Right there, if you can see it, that's 7.2 amps. It's handling it just fine. I mean, that's warming up, but I wouldn't even say it's even warm yet. Cells look good. It's a lot of power right there. And 150. About time to put a fan on it. All right, it's getting pretty warm. The amp draw has come down a little bit. Maybe as it increases in heat, it uh, doesn't pull as much. Our drop is 1101. It's coming down and. On the thermal here, 200 degrees. And that's definitely too hot to even put my hand on. That thing's scorching. I thought I had. I mean, I got I got this fan that that I rigged up to hook up to a 12 volt pack that I made in a different video, um, but I can't find that battery pack right now. So I think we're gonna have to call it for a test. This thing has done pretty well. And like I said earlier, I think the requirements are only going to be about uh, 2 amps max. So I think we can call it, we can wrap it up, and uh, get it shipped out. We're going to do that next. All right, we're going to start wrapping this up. I don't have PVC shrink that's big enough to go all the way around and cover the ends. So I'm just doing a piece of wrap over the BMS to protect that. There we go. That's good enough for right now. We can cut these sections away. Because our other piece of wrap will go over the top of it. This stuff is tough. Here's another one that I did in the same style. That's tough stuff. Take it off, give it a trim. There we go. Now let's put the rest of it on there. That's about as good as that's going to get for right now. That doesn't look too bad. Pretty happy with that. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Hope everybody can learn something from this. See you guys in the next one.